19 years old is never an age you want to see somebody die. Especially when they die tragically before their time has come. And as a parent, you never want to see your kid die. You never want to bury your own child. And um, for Riley Palfi, you know, he was an aspiring bodybuilder, just 19 years old. And, uh, you know, I saw the news this morning that he died. And uh, his father posted on his Instagram telling people he died tragically in a motorcycle accident. And uh, I looked at the name and, and I was like, you know, it looks familiar. And I, once I looked it up, um, I remember I had seen a video that Derek had made on him. I think it was last year. And I remember watching that video and saying, you know, this kid, he's got crazy genetics. You know, I only wish I could have looked like that when I was his age, you know, and he's got a bright future ahead of him. So I was really shocked, you know, to see that he died the way he had. And, um, you know, he posted on his Instagram story just yesterday, you know, that he was, you know, on his bike and uh, it was a little snowy or rainy out. And uh, it was eerie to watch that. You know, I'm going to play it here on the screen while I'm talking, uh, just knowing that that's the reason why he died. And uh, as soon as I heard the story of what happened, you know, I immediately remembered, you know, I was dating uh, this girl uh, down in Queen Creek, Arizona, a small little town when I moved here about 15, 16 years ago. And uh, her sister was dating this kid, 19 years old. And there was this highway, you know, Power Road is like a kind of a highway. And uh, there was always all these crosses on the side uh, for, for, for this 19-year-old kid. And, and it was why it was because he died the same way on a motorcycle. And um, he, was, he was driving down the road and he hit oncoming traffic. It swiped his arm and then he died uh, shortly after that. So, and I remember just that story and how many people I know, you know, in my life that either got seriously injured or died on motorcycles and it's sad because it's not so much you know that you're bad at riding bikes it's the fact that you can't control the people on the road you know and i think it's dangerous when you know big cities it just it's just tough to ride them because you don't can't trust the people on the roads and it's better off you know if you're in the country area it's safer you know motorcycles is something i love my whole life you guys know i love classic cars so obviously i'm gonna like motorcycles um you know james dean had a triumph that I always liked and um, always was my dream to get one. I never did because I was always scared. You know, I didn't trust myself. So seeing that um, Riley Palfi died this way, it's very sad. I don't even have words, you know, to try to to put together to comfort the family because it's just not something you ever want to see. So, you know, I think uh, as a community, it's nice seeing people making videos about them because, you know, your heart has to go out to a kid like this and to his family. And uh, as a community, uh, we have to wish the best for his family and say prayers for the kid, you know? And, um, you know, I know that he's dead, but I always believe that when people die, they're still here and their spirit's always around us. And uh, I know the people that died that were close to me, I talk to them every night in my sleep. And, um, for him, I know he's going to be there for his family and his loved ones. And uh, I just want to say prayers for him and uh, everybody who's in this community who's made videos um, as a tribute to him. I think that's a good thing to keep his memory alive. And I'm